Hi, this is John Cater, and I'm a professional investor. Today, I'm going to discuss how investors think about risk. Most ordinary people define investment risk in terms of losing money. Professional accountants, like you, might take a more nuanced view. The risk of something bad happening financially to a particular company. Perhaps an inability to pay debt, or even the CFO defrauding the company and running away to a desert island with the loot. And while investors are certainly concerned about these things, they are not the primary sources of risk that they are worried about. To see why, consider that most professional investors are hired to be the benchmark. It might be the S&P 500, or the FTSE 100, or in the case of absolute return products, the risk-free rate. And while no one likes to lose money, they know they won't be fired if they do, unless they also underperform their benchmark. So, two points. Investors focus on portfolio risk much more than the risk of anyone holding. And second, they are most concerned that the por portfolio's performance will diverge negatively from the benchmark. Now, analyzing risk turns out to be a very complicated thing because stocks themselves are very complicated things. Think of them as little bundles of characteristics that suggest how they will perform in any circumstance. In a way, they are like people. Like me, for instance. Suppose you were thinking of inviting me to a dinner party and were trying to figure out if I would be a good fit or not. Perhaps even behave inappropriately. Well, you might consider the things that you know about me. I'm obviously old. But I also have a certain educational background. I know something about various topics like finance. I don't dress too horribly, etc. You might be worried that I'm an American and I might have strong political views. Oh dear. But wait, that might not be so bad because others at the party might have different views and it might make for lively discussion. Do you see what I'm talking about? You need to consider a lot of complex background about me and also the other people in the portfolio. I mean, at the dinner party. Stocks are much the same. For example, a given stock might be a small cap, be in a certain sector like energy, it might be a growth stock, it might have a certain sensitivity to interest rates or currencies, or whatever. These are all things that might cause it to behave in a certain way under certain circumstances and induce portfolio risk. And you certainly wouldn't want an entire portfolio of stocks with the same characteristics because that would just magnify those risks. Finally, even after considering all the characteristics of every stock and their complex interactions in the portfolio, there is a certain amount of risk that's unrelated to all that and is specific just to that stock. This is the risk that we spoke about before with the CFO. But that too is just like people. No matter how much you think you know about me, you just can't be certain how I'll behave at a dinner party.